It's the penultimate part of Rune Factory 4. I'm enjoying being Pubet a little bit more. But since we are so near to the end, I really don't need most of these crops now. So, time to clear some of them out. I'm going to be hanging on to some of the golden crops, but the rest of these can go. Gonna make room for all that sweet, sweet legal marijuana. Oh! That's where the money is now. Is that the final use for Prince Points? Yes. That's how you make Prince Points. You got to legalize it! Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oops. Wait, does that mean you nationalize getting high? Yeah, I love getting government high. It's so responsible. I got the fuck out, guys. <laughs> yeah. As always, I don't need these monsters. I wasn't even gathering their stuff for the longest time, so I'm sending them back to the forest. This is actually going to bite me in the ass, because a later request requires me to gather 50 monsters, so I should have just hung on to them. I can't believe that that Buffamoo was so neglected that she learned how to milk herself. <laughs> so I'm going to do, I think, the fifth floor of Sharon's Maze. And this one is just a bunch of refights, but I think it's 20 floors, so it's very long. Oh my god. It's not a boss rush, because that's a boss slog. <laughs> Wait for level six. I'm trying to think of which bullshit boss it could possibly be. It's just the same shit with level a thousand. <laughs> yeah. For 35 floors. Oh, ho, ho, ho. thank you, Sharon's Maze, for not overstaying your welcome. It'd be fine if it wasn't required for a mission. Really? Yeah. That's like the last request. Finish all of Sharon's Maze. Wow, thanks, Eliza. Piece of shit. What's the request called? Get fucked? Yeah. Just basically fuck off if you were tired of you. <laughs> Go to Sharon's Maze forever. Please die in the bottom floor of your weird mirror death maze. Sign, Doug. And I think Ragnarok is the last boss of this floor. Like, he'll always be the last boss. As long as he's not doing the instant kills, then I don't care what he does. Does he even have the instant kills? Like, are there safe zones here? Uh, yeah. He's just not doing them. I don't know why. Oh, weird. Uh, there we go, that's one of them. Oh, hello! Uh, oh, ho, 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 ho. just in time. Managed to kill him in time, though. Alright. Way to go, killer. Rune Sphere Shard, fine. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We, we get the shard of the thing that our people made, so I don't know why it was down here. Who's stuffed up, fake Ethelbird? The final floor, the Banquet of Nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think this was a joke? Oh boy. You know, for a second there? Yeah, I kind of did. So yeah, I think you can tell already, I might need to upgrade my fairies. Uh, yeah, why don't you romance a much more your speed kind of fairy? Well, it started off decently well. It's like, okay, even though it's 500 levels higher, it doesn't seem so bad. And then I get to Heaven's Gate and look how little damage I do. <laughs> Oh. Nope. Oh, yep. Love it. Love every instant of this. This is great. Chop wood, carry water, my friend. And of course, the gate is cycling elements. 
so Red Fox is giving it health back. This ends up being a massive problem for a lot of bosses. I don't know how long that took. Try not to think about it. I'm trying to remember more like. What kind of cool thing? Sometimes we do fight bosses we haven't fought in Sharon's Maze yet. Like, we haven't seen Rafflesia since the actual story. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen Rafflesia since Secret of Mana. <laughs> and of course, all of Rafflesia's attacks are magic. So if I can seal it and seal all of its different parts, it can do nothing to me. Just go give your fairies a bad day. Whoa. Yeah, but they're like level 480, so. See, look, I think the thing he was spinning around there, I think that's its healer. Yeah. And now all of it is sealed. Can't do anything. Cool. So now it's just a matter of, uh... <laughs> Whittling it down. Just pounding away. <laughs> Uh, beautiful. It's like, uh, it's like carving maple, is what it is. You just, you just, it's tiny chips. You just chip away. <laughs> Hammering for days. Storm was particularly helpful. Yeah, that actually did quintuple digit damage. You have that. Enjoy. I hope you choke. Oh, fuck. Yeah, speaking of choke, guess oh. where it happens? Ambrosia oh. again, of course. Yep. You're gonna need way stronger weapons. Are there even stronger weapons? There should be, yeah. <laughs> it's just like, man, I wanted a better fight. Holy potatoes. Get fucked, Jones. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say that. <laughs> Glad my fun as a lady. I feel like being a really old man. Okay, I mean, that's great, but if you want strength, you obviously need to be volcanic. But... But Ethelbird became god. Right, but then he was killed by an idiot, so... Well, the noises he makes are hilarious, so... Hello, darling. Duh. <laughs> Good morning, princess. You don't change your portrait. Thank you, dear. You know, I just made a lot of object decks myself, but that is actually helpful. And, and <laughs> for a couple of reasons. Not just that. Love to watch Applebird poison himself. So I wanted to show this fight because I thought it would be fun. Showing a refight between Ventuswill and Ethelbird. Oh, yeah. This is how it should have gone. I can't believe it. I paid for this entire seat, but I only need the edge. I'm using the charge attack because I ran out of rune points. And I think this is the final floor, so I didn't want to waste another pineapple juice. Oh, yeah. That's okay, you got through. Now that you've driven the pineapple extinct by juicing them all. <laughs> there you are. I shall juice the entire world. Oh, good. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Intense. <laughs> He's just, <laughs> just babbling. Uh, I believe that's called sundowning. What? I don't know. Dementia? <laughs> oh no. Oh, Ethelbird. Oh. Taste of my own medicine! But hey, look at that. Well, thank crap for three golden giant turnips. <laughs> 
Well, that's hurting my throat. Let's do something else. Let's break reality. Go on a date. Go on a date like this. <laughs> Does my appearance not please you, wife? Keel never changes, but I do. This is just like in my fan fiction. Is it? No. Are you sure? No. Because I'd like to read it, actually. Softy. What? Okay. <laughs> Accurate. Outstanding. So now you got a level thousand Earth Fairy. Yeah. Gronk. And I also grabbed level thousand Green Fairy. Damn it. Great. I, okay, the juicing is getting out of hand. Yeah. This. You've gone mad with juice. Is like something I did 10 videos ago. Yeah, seriously. If not 20. I'd be surprised if one of our schools wasn't at 500. That's worth some money. God. <laughs> Prepare to get married. Befriending a bunch of monsters and befriending everyone in town to level 10. Those took a very long time. <laughs> yeah, a bit late on that, Eliza. Sorry. I still ship Pupert with Eliza. Yeah, it's kind of my OTP. Is that the right phrase? Yeah. <laughs> That's why she was disappointed. Gotcha. My Pupert, I love you. The OTP is that off-track petting? It's the only way I do it, baby. One true Pupert. I want to be surrounded by monsters. I want to be <laughs> surrounded by monsters. I've started a Twitter account. <laughs> Great. Fuck me. Uh, well, just, you know, fucking... They don't have... Oh, are you Pico? <laughs> I thought it would be funny. How are you Pico? She doesn't even exist. Her character model does. Take this well mason stone! Take it, you duck! You duck, baby! This is pretty much just what I did. I went around gathering sticks and rocks and threw them at monsters. You're like a snake charmer. They don't have to all be different monsters, they just have to be a monster. Only for giant, dumb-looking ducks. Yeah, and you learn Frydudon, so whatever. God, I think that's the last one. Love potion number nine. Holy potato! <laughs> Not very good, honestly. <laughs> what? It's got the fresh flavors of pumpkin and turnip and cabbage. Flour. And fl flour? Sure. So is it like better than pineapple juice? It seems more annoying to make. Oh yeah, like it's it's an outrageously good drink. It's just not viable to make. If only there was a duping glitch. Surprise, there isn't. There probably is. This game does seem broken in just the worst way. It's more the writing that's broken. <laughs> the programming is pretty good. But for that one time where the game literally crashed. That's the only one time. Yeah, I don't know why that happened. So you wanted power. Well, I am Volcanon now. Oh, hell yeah! Alright, now we're good. We can finish. You can never be stopped. I see you've taken on Volcanon's strength, too. Having destroyed... Oh, Ragnarok again. Sweet. Yep. Level 30 is the end. And I made mixed smoothies this time because they're far better. And they give me a boost of my maximum room points. Oh, yeah. And unlike in Floor 5, this time around, he's back to being a pain in my ass. Ooh! Oh, you'll notice how everyone has colds and they're exhausted. That's because their element kept matching up with too many bosses and they kept healing them, so I had to throw Object X at them to knock them out. 
That's also how I beat Ambrosia, because with them knocked out, the butterflies couldn't take health from them. Oh. I thought that Colton were exhausted because it's November. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm doing pretty well. Getting close. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. There it is. Oh, potatoes. Eat the poo-poo. Yes, it's time to sleep, my dear. Oh, uh, then I mm, will join you. <laughs> that happens as long as she's just in the room with you. Sure. Even if it's like eight in the morning, she'll go to bed with you. Going to bed with your wife? It's fucking weird. <laughs> so now we can say that that's so raven. Third place. Oh wow, he didn't even get second. Also, Dillis. I did this by just going to all the different seasonal ponds. You don't have to actually stay in the town. And I think with that, I've finally gotten gold in every town contest. My hero. More brain drugs. Hello, Raven. Feed me intelligencers forever, please. Feed me intelligencers and tell me I'm pretty. Looking good today. Did you dye your hair? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> wow, nice golds. Nice gold spell. All gold. Wow. Can't turn that into gold juice. You sure are the best person in this fuck-ass town. <laughs> Becoming another, uh... <laughs> puppy, puppy, what? <laughs> what, like, eating a lot and getting fat? Do you want to adopt a cat or something? Or, or uh, like a giant chicken? Forte wants to be a mom. No, she wants to die early. Here. See you later. Oh, I guess she can boil a pumpkin too. Still looks like she just cut it. She's getting better. Well, the problem with this one at this point, Forte's the only one of the people that actually count who's above level 10. Baird and Raven don't actually count, luckily. Which is too bad because just talking to them increases their friendship ridiculously high. They're really needy, huh? Oh dear. <sighs> Pubert, you knocked her up. <laughs> That was incredibly fast, by the way. Was there a time skip in here, or...? So much time skip. I think like a week or two. Forte, you have a parasite. <laughs> the parasite of love! Well, yes, that's part of its parasitical tendencies. It makes you love it. Mmm. That's right. Yeah, sure, just tell everybody. Tell everybody that Forte is knocked up. Like, that's, that's fine, I guess. So you stay away from the Compound X, or whatever the hell it's called. Object X. Object X. Stay away from that. Don't be huffing that nasty stuff. And you're not going to the Turnip Flurry. <laughs> no. Have a nice day. Too much excitement. Too much flying produce. Which do you think it will be? A boy or a girl? We actually get to decide. I'm gonna go with a girl. You'd prefer a girl. Uh, okay. Well, there are magic dragons, so why not? Okay, Professor Oak. 
Like, she's not born yet. Dignified? Dignified is not a word that I would use to describe our friend Hubert. Not even the real in-game Hubert. I'm gonna throw it off the bridge. Don't wink. Don't wink when you say that. Hey, welcome. Yeah, I mean, you know, the, the kid was basically born into complete privilege. You know, a member of a, a royal family. Look, I know, you love desserts and egg dishes. We've been married for, like, a season. <laughs> born very quickly. Holy crap. Thing just shot right out. Welcome to the world, baby egg dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. Please have named it egg dish. Even better, chocolate egg. <laughs> oh, it's giggling. Cadbury? <laughs> no. Everyone knows that those come from... Rabbits that go. It's just a hard boiled egg that Forte dipped in chocolate. <laughs> it's like the worst scotch egg in the world. I'm glad you're up and walking right after giving birth. And fully armored. This baby is powerful. Uh. It's okay. Go long. <laughs> oh god, please don't. Please don't. Master I can deal with. Daddy is a little much. <laughs> oh boy. Well, I think I accidentally gave it away long ago. But what are we gonna name our daughter? Why, the best name ever. Oh my goodness. Wait, hold on. So does that mean that this child is gonna grow up and move to a shaker community? And fish by diving into a river. The circle of insanity is complete. Can't believe that this LP had a prequel in it. She could move to a different farming community and make friends with a really dumb elf. Yeah, let's... let's go. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> Keel, you're scaring the child. Uncle Turnip, Uncle Turnip. They went completely goo goo gaga. Started wearing meat dresses and thinking about bad romances. Hollowed out Kermit. 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 God, if you look at the baby, she's already got a full head of hair and a dress. She's huge. Yeah, big old baby. Forte's a trooper. <laughs> 18 pounds, 9 ounces. Two and a half feet long. The size of a mucho burrito, basically. I like that everyone had two notes, except for Doug, who only had one. He's not so into babies. Holy Hannah, those feet are sticking way out. Oh my. Best is like, Mom, Mom, I'm 15. Mom, put me, <laughs> Mom, put me down. That or you gave birth to a baby Silent Hill monster. I just had my husband's baby, but I'm still embarrassed to be intimate with him. Yes. Here, it's a rune edge. <laughs> <laughs> I found it in Daddy's murder hole. Yes. <gasps> yes. Yes, I did. Missed you, honey bunchies. And much like the end of Act 2, we get another time skip. Which literally doesn't matter except for our daughter is now five years old. Aww. And she's adorable. And looks exactly like Amber. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder. Oh, oh no! Am I really the father? ruh -roh. I have two mommies and a daddy. Give me two more years and I'll own the town. <laughs> I mean, in 
inherit it is more like it. No. No, it, it, it's garbage. No. It's poop from a butt. It's been my fucking prison for the past two years. I mean that literally. Have you ever tried to leave? Okay, sure, let's just do everything that you want to do. I barely have anything left to do. Might as well. Teach her to farm. Teach her to farm and teach her to love the hunt. We'll do that next time. Next time will be the final part of Rune Factory 4. I'll be completing Sharon's maze and be doing a couple of things with our brand new daughter before we finally say goodbye. Go long. Go long. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've checked a couple mommy blogs. Uh, I've seen nothing about child proofing a mirror portal to the death dimension. Ah, uh, yeah. You see, there's some things that mommy blogs can't teach you. Things like self respect. Sometimes. Ooh, well, hey, whatever you need to do to pay the bills. Baby size Louis Vuitton doesn't buy itself. And they still play into the designer cardboard box it came in. <laughs> <laughs> that's the trick that's the trick to child rearing forget the mommy blogs you gotta just nurture the imagination let me tell you the key to child rearing folks me a childless bachelor i'll tell you exactly what the key is the key is boredom <laughs> kids need to be bored because when they're bored then their minds start working and when their minds start working they start getting into trouble and when they start getting into trouble they start growing as people boredom bore the shit out of your kids don't fill them up with video games. Let them be bored. Or just leave them in a forest. Well, okay, hence Christian Anderson. That'll get him into trouble. Holy biscuits. I mean, that's what I did. My kids ended up raised by bears. Wait, no, shit, that other thing. Um, eaten. Eaten by bears. Ah, yeah, yeah, common. Raised and then shoved into the bear's mouth. <laughs> Braised, really. <laughs> The bears do watch a lot of Alton Brown. <laughs> good eats, good, uh, good eats. <laughs> you raise me up. No, no unitaskers in the forest. <laughs> and now I'm going to be imagining Alton Brown getting eaten by a bear. <laughs> well, that's another show. <laughs>